Virgo. What's up, cousin? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a virgin for the mid month of October 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this space of working on yourself? But also feeling a bit, I'm going to say, disappointed in something that you really knew to be not flourishing the way that you thought it was. Are y'all losing hope? Because we ain't doing that shit. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, we'll head this first time to my channel. Also, um, it's your first time to my channel, y'all look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Oh. I'm Mocha. That's what I was supposed to say. I was like, damn, wait. I said, hey, boo, hey, this first time to my channel. And I was like, wait. Okay, that's the poll I was supposed to say, I'm Mocha. Listen, I say this shit so much, y'all. I'm like, listen, I'm starting to sound like a damn tape recorder. But hey, I cuss, okay? So if cussing don't work for you, right down now, feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? To uh, the new subscribers, hey, boo, hey, welcome to the family. Well, it is functional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Sometimes we cry. We're going to laugh our ass off. Positive vibes only over here. Positive type teens. Okay? Also, I would like to thank everybody for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the donations, the, the love. Y'all, just thank you so much. I truly humbly appreciate you guys from the most humblest space ever, y'all. Thank you, because without you, we couldn't keep this motherfucking train all aboard. Okay? So thank y'all. Return to subscribers. Family, it's popping, cousin. What y'all cooking? The fuck? Because y'all know I like to eat. I'm working on it right now. I'm like, listen. I looked out, I was like, oh, Aries, <laughs> you want to start getting it together, honey? You getting that body looking a little too blue delicious. What you doing? Some of y'all also may be feeling the same way, because I don't even know why the hell I shared that. Anywho. <laughs> this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Virgo for the mid-month of October. I'm always late, but God, I'm coming through fucking great. Okay, let's get it. Um, This, re this message is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does and leave the rest, you guys. As you, if you've been following me for a while, you know when Mercury retrogrades. Mercury is retrograding in water signs. My speech be fucked up. I'm still trying to hold on to my damn throat chakra still being able to pop. Because, y'all, for the last couple of days, my little voice has been just like, Ugh, uh, okay? So we're going to get it popping, all right? We're going to start off with your intuitive messages for the month. You guys, Um, if you need a personal reason, that information can be found within the description, right? Let's get it. Because, again, it ain't going to resonate with everybody. Okay, for where to go. First and foremost, y'all, when I was meditating on y'all energy, I was dancing before I got in y'all energy and shit. Then I sat down, and I was meditating on it, and I got all fucking anxious. And it was anxious that I didn't like. I took so many deep breaths, like, even right now, I need one. Listen. Take it with me. Some of you guys suppress so much. Okay? Let's get it. You got to breathe, baby. Let that shit go. For you all, I got anxiety. Rebirth. Reveals through conversations. Hacker. Thief. Expansion. Self-sabotage. Esoteric wisdom. Subconscious study. Fear of failure. Blessings. Manipulation, fear of the loss of a friendship, mm. creativity, entrepreneurship, patience. Okay, so that's what I got for you all for the mid month of October. Okay, overall energy. I was trying to get one angel message, one overlay of energy, y'all. Y'all extra ass. Of course, you know you got two. Dos, dos. Okay. But I feel like you guys in this mid-month of October, some of you all may be in a space of knowing what it is that you want. And I feel like you've done everything that you can to get someone on the same page as you. Someone came into your life to be a trigger, baby, but it was to trigger you. They were to be a catalyst to your awakening and also make you fears. I'm sorry, make you face your fears of um, being by yourself or seeing yourself as alone but not lonely like getting to know yourself some of you all ended 
long-term relationships in the past year, okay? So I definitely feel like for some of you all, it was about you regaining your balance without feeling as if you needed another person to validate that balance that that, that, that pretty much that you've been holding up the whole damn time in your own life, but it's how you're choosing to see it. Some of you all this month are going to be doing a lot of healing and working on that aspect of um, that fear of rejection, the, the fear of rejection or abandonment or not wanting to walk your path based on the perception of others or your perception of what lies ahead. There's this need to surrender. You can't make every damn thing fit, my babies. Some of you all, you got an earth sign that want to work a situation out with you, a Capricorn towards Virgo, and you have a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, that's not really putting in any effort. And I'm clear, I'm feeling to tell you that this person, there may be um, acts of deceit that you guys are kind of coming into for the mid month of October. Like some of you all could be, um, somebody's going to get caught in somebody's car. This could have already happened. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're somebody who has some type of burgundy hair or British hair. Somebody could have also had some type of accident or car accident with like the side piece or the side chick in the car or the side dude in the car. Some of you guys are going to be um, noticing something on some type of report, like some type of paperwork is like the missing piece to the clarity that you needed to release the situation. Others of you, there is someone wants to come back and work out a family situation, having that that they want to, they want to show you Virgo that they can do better when it comes to putting in the effort with the system. You when it comes to being there for their children, whoever this person is, I feel like they once had a very cold standing, and now this person has gone through some type of awakening, and they just feel as if they don't want to be without you. But I feel like they're they 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 going about it in the in a whole wrong way. They're trying to use your children as a way to get back in the dough. Be aware, this person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. First angel message that you guys got. And some of you all, you actually want to work on something, some type of creative project. You want to take a leap of faith when it comes to working for yourself because you're tired of working for someone else. You feel as if it's not enough or you don't have enough or it's not enough to get you to where you want to go in the time frame in which you want to go. So some of you all are taking a leap of faith and you're trusting your gifts. You're using your gifts and your abilities. Some of you all may be starting tarot channels. Others of you may be starting makeup and beauty channels as well. Others of you also may be, some of y'all may be get, get, get some type of opportunity to be some type of advocate or public speaker of some sort. That looks to be that y'all, all of that that I named, there's abundance around that. It's like you're looking outside of yourself to work on somebody else's dream to bring you abundance. And spirit is saying the abundance comes from within you. And what you were gifted with and you trusting yourself in order to uh, to do your part. A lot of you all are light workers, you're counselors, you're spiritual teachers. You have to experience things just like that of Sag experience things just like that of Sagittarius, Gemini, the hard heads of the zodiac I call them. In order to attain that wisdom, to transmute it for the positive for another person. Some of you all, this is about you creating positions, things that has never been done. Just because another person said that it can't, that don't mean that it can't because that motherfucker maybe didn't have as much drive as you have, Virgo. Real shit. First angel message you guys got was Counselor Archangel Azrael. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. You guys, this is about... I feel like a lot of you all are having some type of solar plexus activation. A lot of you all may be on go, 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 go. That could have also been the anxiety that I feel. But some of you all, even though um, on a soul, on a soul level, you're like go, 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 go. Here within the 3D realm, you feel this sense of stagnancy or as if if you go, 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 there's this sense of either running over people or leaving their ass behind altogether. And there's a sense of guilt with doing so, but baby, you got to grow and you got to be willing to put you first in anything that you want to do in life. You can't get nobody else right if you're not right. And for some of you all, spirit is opening up a door for you to walk your life path. You're the nurturer, baby. The teacher of wisdom. You are wisdom. I'm trying to get in a good light. <laughs> this sunshine. Ross say I'm coming out to see you, baby. Okay? Okay, so in this card, there is an angel... 
they said the ancestors your ancestors baby are using you as a tool to bring a particular consciousness some of you all are holding esoteric information a lot of you all are going to be receiving massive downloads all the way into the middle of november i'm hearing for some of you all this is uh this can be done via astral travel for some of you all you're not even having to be asleep um to astral travel i feel like for some of you all you're inheriting spiritual gifts and it's happening at a very rapid pace a lot of y'all are going to realize that you're met your your uh your master manifestors so instead of um, walking in this energy of defeat or walking in this energy of what did not work in your favor, you transmute the energy of what the hell you want and just take the expectation out of, out of the out of the disappointment of a damn person who you expected it to come from. Have no expectations as, as far as a person, just a vibe, just a vibration and not an expectation, but a knowing, an inner overstanding. Okay. Some of you guys could actually be dreaming of your loved ones that could have crossed over. They could be sharing information with you. Some of you all also are veering back and forth between past lives. For some of y'all, y'all in between three and four realms. This could be very scary. Some of y'all have medium um, children who children who are star seeds. They're mediums. They could be going through um, a really tough time now when it comes to their their own DNA activations as well. Someone's child is someone's child has a telepathic connection to them and they know that you're hurting. Especially if you weren't speaking to your child, if you have an adult ch child that you weren't speaking to, and all of a sudden you're just really starting to feel your baby, you're gonna have to take leadership in that record because some of y'all children aren't in a great mental space. Somebody's child is suicidal, and I want to get out of that because it's sad. This is a female. For some of you all, you have a child that's a male, and they're going through substance abuse, Virgo, because they don't know. This could be a teenager. They don't. They don't know really how to embrace their gift. It scares them. So they're doing these substances to get away, to escape, but it's taking them into realms within that 4D that the baby's not ready for. So you're being called by high power to stand in your purpose because you're going to be used as a vessel for not only a clearing and a breaking of that cycle, but also a teacher of that wisdom through your own experience. You can't teach some shit you ain't never lived. How, sweat? Okay? Some of you all also are being called to counsel children. Some of you all have life paths around children, as well as the elderly. I see someone wants to open up a home health care, and it has to do something about the location. Look into foreclosed homes, baby. You were thinking about real estate. Anyway, I feel like years ago, but it didn't work out for you. Now is the time. Transition. Don't stand in no box. This is for everybody. Don't put yourself in a box. Be multifaceted, multidimensional. You guys are transmutable energy, meaning it's supposed to be inter interchangeable. Spirit is not going to let you get complacent. So the rapid switch-ups and shit, everything that you said that you couldn't do, a lot of y'all have been shown in the last couple of months. Who can't do what, huh? Because you did it. Do the sadness, do the picking it up, do the keeping that shit together, do the do the fucking cussing in the car, them deep breaths walking through them dead pace, pacing through your work highway. They don't understand you almost quit on your break three times. You held your shit together, and you're getting ready to be rewarded for that. But you have to let go of the idea of what didn't work. And understand that it only came to build you in order to get you prepared for where you're going. That for some of y'all, you're going to find out that it's way greater than what the fuck you was wrong, sis. Bro. Just saying. No shade. I'll fix. Okay. Also, and also, I'm, he I'm hearing don't be afraid to make moves. Don't be afraid to make moves, Virgo. Okay. Next message we got is career transition. Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. 
for some of you all, okay, they want me to go there. Some of you all could have dealt with sexual abuse when you were a child. Some of you all, you could be triggered um, via your dreams or kind of going back into that subconscious space again between those timelines. Those timelines when you are asleep. You need to journal and really get that out because some of you all are being called to publicly speak. Like you standing naked and being vulnerable, you know, is freeing other other women and other men, period. I keep hearing LGBT, but being an advocate, an advocate of an expansion in consciousness and the way people perceive things. And in order to do that, some of y'all possibly just got to walk completely out the fucking building. Or be willing to walk out of a situation that is not going to assist you in doing so. Some of you all, you prayed and asked God, God, what am I supposed to be doing right now? And then this opportunity presents itself and it's requiring you to walk away from every damn thing that <laughs> was fucking burdensome in the first place. Career transition is triggering a blessed career change, meaning that your guys, your angels, your ancestors, God, the goddesses, baby, they agree. You're being called to share that esoteric knowledge. You guys are sitting in your role literally as the queen of pentacles, sitting in your role literally as the king of pentacles. Abundance comes as you follow your divine guidance. Follow those uh, downloads that you're receiving, you guys, right massively. I'm, heard, I'm hearing insomnia, okay? Some of you all are staying up, not knowing what to do. I'm also hearing self-sabotage, self-blame, self-judgment, self-persecution, self-imprisonment. This is about speaking your truth on some shit that you already know. It's going to bring you a blessing. You don't understand it, and it don't feel good at first. But for some of you all, you are obsessing over a particular thing. And that particular thing really didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. But you have an opportunity coming in during this mid-month. For some of y'all, it's going to extend into the second week of November, I'm hearing. But there's an opportunity and offer presenting itself that is going to change your life for a lot of you all. And it's your reward for the hard works, the broken hearts. The hurt feelings, the disappointments, all the burdens that you carry for every time you self sacrifice. This is a you blessing. And motherfuckers who didn't do their work, they can't go. And every time you try and make them go, it won't fit. Because there's a lesson in being able to let go. Because once you get to that space, everything that you went through, you want to go relive that shit again? Because if you don't get the lesson, we're going to do that shit again. There's this sense of completely closing outdoors during this time. Some of y'all are going through a rebirth. You all are having a massive awakening, especially with this uh, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. You're speaking everything that has been hidden, things that have been hidden are being illuminated so that you can push forward, sis, or bro, cousin. Listen to me. Okay? So let's get it. Just check into this love life because we already down there 20 minutes in. And that's just who you have. For my cousin. I love my man, so she's general spirit. Some of you all, and some of y'all is dealing with the sign of Scorpio that is choosing to keep their options open out of the space of fear. There is a lot of love between you and this person. However, someone is self-sabotaging. They feel as if somebody is scared of the feelings that they feel for, for a particular connection. And that's what's been preventing taking a leap of faith, okay? For some of you all, um, for some of you all, somebody's scared to take a leap of faith. And I feel like there's this hoping, wishing, praying that either a child's mother or a child's father comes back so that they can completely close out a cycle or close out their feelings before they make a move. Someone is allowing somebody else to validate their damn moves and how they want to move, which is affecting you and 
the advice here is for you to take a leap of faith and love and let go because when you choose to let go, some of y'all have a brand new relationship coming in possibly with an Aries, a Libra, um, a Taurus person. For some of you all, this is about expansion. Some of you all also could be finding out that you're pregnant by Aries. Congratulations, Mocha Little Kids. For those of you who are already in existing uh, in existing partnerships, some of you all, yeah, someone who you have a child with or who you have a family with, they want to come in and transform a situation. They want to bring some type of renewal energy. This person actually has been spying on your ass too to see that you uh, that you out here popping in these streets. <laughs> And then they don't like that shit. <laughs> Cousin, they don't like that shit. Others of you. Yeah. There could have been a situation or that could you some of you guys could be going some of you guys could be feeling abandoned by a situation or some of y'all are dealing with a person who kinda it's like they use love or they use their passion. As a way to like, it's like they dangle their love over your fucking head and you're tired of the shit. You kind of light as me and shed on the situation that you and another person mirror each other when it comes to this sense of abandonment. For some of you all, you could be dealing with a situation where someone really wants to invest in it. Someone really wants to invest in a partnership and the other person is resisting it, even though there's a whole lot of passion there. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, some of y'all could actually be finding out that you are pregnant by this person. Or some of y'all, there's light being illuminated on why this person left you out in the cold. Some of y'all, this person could have been hooking up with the younger person. They could have been an Aries or a Leo person. This person could have also been a Libra or a Taurus. But I feel like some of y'all are going to find out that this person was giving very little because they were they were nesting in more than one place. Okay. I definitely feel like this was being done out of a space of validation. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who they have to be in control of a situation. You want to compromise. They want to control the situation out of fear of, huh, out of fear of opening up and being vulnerable and then afterwards experiencing some type of loss. Somebody accepts defeat before they even allow themselves to experience any damn thing because they, oh, yeah. Some of y'all dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio this mid-month of um, October. This person is feeling left out. They really feel like somebody wants to come back and apologize to you. And I feel like, Virgo, you really tired of this person's shit. And for some of you all, you got a new opportunity. And walking away with that shit, as soon as you walk away, as soon as you take the leap of faith to actually go after what it is that you want, Spirit is saying, listen, it's going to bring a whole new transformative energy into your life. For some of y'all, you actually got to move away from a person to get their fucking mind right. And let them know that I don't need you. Some of y'all, some of y'all getting somebody together, they thought as if they thought that you needed them or that you had to depend on their damn energy to feel whole. In the past, this person working, some of y'all in the past would have, you know, could have been those, well, no, 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 let me be the one to try and compromise. Let me be the one to overextend. I see the advice here is to not overextend. You make people put in the damn work for you. You a jewel, baby. The fuck? Yeah. I see some of you all walking away from a situation after getting the complete truth. Some of you all, you have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that wants to come back. You could have walked away from this person. This person could have even made you feel some sense of abandonment. You could have children with this person. There's a sense of guilt. Somebody want to come back and fix the situation. They want to transform it. It's a past life relationship. And others of you are definitely dealing with a water sign or an earth sign from your past that does not want to take no for a fucking answer, Virgo. Okay? But I feel like, yeah. And if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I definitely feel like this person, some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign. And this person didn't give you. Some of y'all thought that this person abandoned you. Some of y'all going to find out somebody was in jail or incarcerated. Someone was also dealing with the health issue as well. Somebody was supposed to tell you something, Virgo. This could have been a mother figure or a sister figure. This person didn't tell you shit. Somebody tried to be a blockage in your relationship. This could be. And those of you who are already in existing partnerships, somebody needs to speak up to their mother because I definitely feel like somebody's mama puts their fucking head in the wrong fucking business, especially when it comes to dealing with your family and your children. And I feel like your partner just kind of, you don't feel like this person has your back like you have their back and you're really tired of being 
Some of y'all I'm hearing, you tired of being a grown-ass person's mom. You tired. You want to put that energy into yourself and build what it is that you've been trying to build versus overextending and giving your building energy to another motherfucker who can't even... I feel like I'm, I'm hearing ungrateful. They're ungrateful. They can only see what you don't do. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody with a very victimized mindset and a victimized way of looking at things. Someone is quick to give up. As soon as shit happens, they like freak the fuck out, whether it's you or another person. If there were any blockages when it came to a divine partnership, spirit is kind of backing the other person up in the corner to make them deal with their shit through triggered events. Some of y'all are going to be a triggered event this mid-month of October. Take a leap of faith and completely move on from a person who thought they had you wrapped around their damn finger because they have they use this sense of whoever this is is somebody very charming. Again, it could be another Virgo. Some of you all could have moved away from another Virgo or abandoned another Virgo, and this person really wanted to grow with you. I'm here and chose the wrong person. Some of you feel like you chose the wrong person. Light is being shed on the situation. Um, if you're dealing with another earth sign, this person, some of y'all could be finding out that someone hasn't completely let go of a fire sign from their past. This could be somebody who they have some type of past life connection with or you, Virgo. Do see, yeah. Do see a fire sign, every single Sagittarius or an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo reaching out to want to bring some type of balance to a situation. Yeah, they want to bring healing to a situation, especially if there was some type of abandonment around children or someone wasn't helping financially as they could have. Somebody was being selfish on some tip attack shit, like I'm going to show you, and they just showed their damn self that they miserable without your energy. Why do people play with y'all like that? Y'all give love like no other. Yeah. There's definitely balance coming to a family situation. For those of you who are dealing with any type of legalities, I do see some type of fair compromise here. Uh, some of you all were indecisive about if you're going to leave a job. I actually see some of you all taking some type of leave or temporary leave in order to try to get more information or um, start. I'm seeing logo. I'm hearing some of y'all need to work on a logo. Some of you all also need to get more, more practical or some of you all also... Some of y'all need to be more practical and more proactive when it comes to the business that you want to grow. The reason why you ain't took that leap of faith is because you're putting your energy everywhere else instead of in yourself. Some of you all could have left the job and you're beating yourself up like what you would have, could have, should have, but spirit is saying you were settling. And if you just choose to let go of what you feel is right, you got bigger blessings to come. Be able to see through the illusions, baby. For some of you all, you're you're internally conflicted about balancing out a family situation with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I feel like you and this person have a strong, passionate connection with one another. However, you don't feel like it's safe to invest in that even though you have children with this person. Like, at one point in time, you really wanted to build on it. But while being away from this person, some of you all are kind of on the outside looking in. And I feel like you're seeing your growth through this person's fuck-ups. You're seeing some of your flaws of codependency and this person's super needy-ass behavior. And I feel like at one point you didn't want to see it, but you're able to now. Or this victimized mindset. Yeah. There's definitely going to be light shed in the situation regarding a fire sign. Who could have left you out in the pit? Yeah. For some of you all, some of y'all finna cut off an earth sign. Some of y'all are cutting off this fire sign. Some of y'all are finding out that somebody who you've been on and off with, y'all, I'm here in 10 years. Some of y'all find out this person has an outside child that they could have abandoned. This has been why this person has been dry. They feeling guilty. The universe, this person's dreams have been lit. Some of y'all may find that your partner is having nightmares. They're trying to ignore be passive about some type of karma that they need to go back and rectify but some of them are self-sabotaging and assuming that it's their fault and it has to do with their conditioning the way that they were taught to see things somebody was literally raised with this damn victim mindset and i feel like no matter how much you try to change yourself or um work around the situation or accommodate somebody you're feeling this sense of not being seen or being pushed away or your efforts not being appreciated because it's not you baby 
you can't fix this. You are being called for some of y'all to be a trigger and you being a trigger in order to bring this person into this space of transformation. But because you chose to listen to your damn divine guidance, baby, you move forward and your doors are open to build. This is your harvest. Some of you all could definitely be taking a leap of faith when it comes to leaving the job and beginning to work for yourself. And Scorpio season looks real blessed. Finish money. I feel like right now it's not the time to stress about what you don't see, but to kind of tune up the things around what you already have put together and see where there could be some type of compromise. Ask people for help. People come to your ass for help all the damn time. Ask for help, especially if you are doing anything dealing with the public or any type of nonprofit I'm hearing. Some of you all, ooh, yeah, some of you all, you're dealing, you, some of y'all are having to make a damn decision between two soulmates. This could be someone who you could have walked away from in the past or someone who you're having a hard time walking away from, but there's some type of truth illuminated. Spirit allows you to see something. I'm here, right in your lap, right in your lap. Something feel right in your lap, Virgo, a wolf fall right in your lap. They're saying trust your dreams. They're very vivid, very lucid during this time, but very revealing. Some of y'all need to put um, amethyst crystals underneath your pillowcase or in your pillowcase or underneath your pillow, baby. Why is the death card here? Hmm. For some of you all, you walking away from a situation is going to bring the balance that you want to it. Okay? For some of you all, you walking away from an individual or a person is walking away to get their fucking money right. Somebody feel like, you, I can't deal with you. I can't deal with a broke motherfucker. You are continuously a liability in my life. <laughs> no, what's your social security number? Tax time coming. Give me that. Run that. <laughs> Rude ass Aries. I don't mind asking nobody for their social security number, honey. I did in the past. Anywho. And they be like, what you saying? Listen, you're going to be out here acting like my whole fucking kid. Listen, I got to give me me. Empress. Yeah, for some of you all, some of you all, there is this sense of stagnancy or this sense of confusion around moving forward because it's requiring you to end the cycle, you guys. But some of y'all, this has to do with your divine masculine and your divine feminine. And you're needing to trust. But some of y'all like, no, fuck that, Mocha, listen, trust me, they didn't show me they ain't shit. Yeah, some of you all, this has to do with the new love. Someone wants to come in. And they want to assist. They want to help you. Some of you all, this could be somebody who works in some in some type of healthcare field. This could be a doctor. Some some of y'all, this could be someone who you worked, who you resisted, a, you resisted a connection with in the past, or they resisted a connection with you because what you felt like. Some of y'all walked away from this person, or there was some type of disconnection. What you felt the problem was wasn't the damn problem at all. Someone's coming in to give you clarity that's going to shift your perception. And letting them back in. Some of y'all was dealing with a damn cancer who just overextend. They just give, 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 give to everybody else. And they left feeling empty. And Virgo can relate to that. This person. Yeah, this person came in to be a blessing. This person also made you feel a sense of insecurity. Some sort of, some of y'all felt as if you weren't good enough. Even though I feel like this person spoke life into you. Some of you all chose, I'm hearing the easy options. Things. That were that you were familiar with, but now that you're ascending, you're growing. That familiarity you don't feel too comfortable. It brought it, it brings this sense of stagnancy as if this is what I'm gonna do. I feel like some of y'all are walking in y'all house and it's dry as fuck because a person don't know how to make a damn decision on what the fuck they want to do. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Gemini. Some of y'all have to choose between the past life soulmate and a twin flame. Some of y'all have to choose between a child's father or mother and someone new. Virgo, what would you choose, Spirit? What's the advice here? Hmm. But some of you all, the advice here is moving forward toward the new new is going to bring your ass a blessing. Yeah, some of you all. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to tell you something. There will be karma in choosing to, to, to start two new beginnings at one damn time. Especially when it comes to divine partnership. If they ain't, if you ain't never been caught up before, your ass going to get caught up here. Okay? But for some of you all, this is about you making a damn decision. You're going to make a decision, all right? 
Some of y'all choosing the new. Spirit is saying choose the new because the old makes you feel this sense of defensiveness. Like you got to defend your damn self. If somebody's indecisive, they don't know what the hell they want to do. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a, uh, all the elements of here. Ooh, y'all dealing with all kind of everybody fucking here. Take the uh, situation as it resonates, but let me go ahead and give you guys some angel advice to roll out on, because that's pretty much what I have for you all. I see the advice here is to take the new, and I feel like if for those of you who do want to be open to a situation with your, uh, with your child's mother or father, there needs to be this, this sense of forgiveness. Have the conversation that you've been avoiding having, or whoever this is avoiding having, because I feel like where someone was closed off, oh, they want to talk now. They like my Virgo can't get away from me. <laughs> Who my Virgo thinks they is? <laughs> Who my Virgo thinks they is? Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Leo. Damn, courage for like some of y'all could be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, a Leo, or they can have it in their chart. Them three fell out. The message that we got here is courage. That's another line up in this month. Some of y'all definitely dealing with somebody with Leo placement. I heard Moon, Sun, Moon. Okay, whatever. Courage. Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. For some of you all, this is about you being brave. You've already been through the mud, the flood. You've not already fought the mud. Look, somebody thought that they left you. And for temporarily, they won a battle. But Virgo, this is about you fucking taking off and winning the damn war. And your fruit, your your harvest is in the fruit that's already been sown. But this is about you trusting and moving forward and knowing that you are spiritually protected. You earned your wings, baby. It's time to fly. It's time to fly. We're not settling no more. Trusting yourself and move toward the new. Every detail ain't meant to be worked out and controlled and sorted out. That ain't your part. Your part is believing in co-creation. that you and Believing in the co-creation that you can manifest the reality that you want. Fuck all the bullshit. It's going to be bullshit. You know, to, for every new level, you're going to have a new devil. Understand that. So you ain't going to escape the motherfucking shit. It's about knowing how to play chess so that you don't become a part of it. You understand? I love y'all. This is what I have for you all for mid-month October. I will see you guys for the month of uh, November. And you guys, stay woke because they out here creeping. All right? I love you, babies. Namaste.